Hello and welcome to Beechow. Now today, as you can see, I am at the launch of the new Tata Curve. This car has been launched primarily first as an EV and later it's going to be joined with its internal combustion engine variants where you will get two petrol engines and one diesel engine. So today I'm going to take you on a quick tour of this car, show you what all features it has, what is the kind of specification this car is currently running and take it from there. So I also have some notes over here with me so that I don't miss out on any of the important features that I want to show you about this car. But first let me quickly give you a walk around of this car. As you can see the design is quite similar and quite resembling to the latest generation of the Tata products like the Punch EV as well as the new Nexon. This front is very similar to that. It's got a full LED DRL running at the front and you can see over here that these few parts are from the accessory range which Tata is going to be launching along with the curve. There are these are few of the parts, the rest of the parts are still to be unveiled. Now this car like the Punch EV has its charging port over here at the front but the good part about this port is that in case you forget this port and leave it open after you finish charging it's going to automatically close itself. Now there are a few design aspects of this car which look a little wild like for example this shape of the grille and the design of the grille at the front which is by the way glossy looks a little different something very striking at the front then over here on the side it's got these aero wheels which are riding on 250 55 r18 section tires one of the very different or one of the odd design changes that Tata has made with this car is that they have actually given this car wheel arches which are glossy which somehow is very confusing to me because this is the part is which is on the outside of the car like the running board these dual tone parts on the sides are all glossy which don't really make a lot of design sense to me but then again we'll see how these things age with time because of that glossy look then then this car also has automatic folding mirrors it's got these flush sitting door handles which have now kind of become industry standard in a lot of cars and across a lot of different brands now the design of this car looks incredibly striking no matter if you look at it from the rear three quarters or you look at it from the side profile or even if you walk in towards the front of the car and look at it from the front as well it's actually a very striking design which is going to actually draw a lot of heads when this car is out there on the roads now again this is a 4.3 meter long car which has a very very good ground clearance this is about 190 mm of ground clearance which you see over here and it's kind of carrying that angular look over here at the back as well again few more bits from the tata accessories which is going to be available for the curve these carbon fiber bits i'm not sure if they are actual carbon fiber or if they're imitation carbon fiber we will find out over time there are more bits over here as well and this coupe suv shape is actually the first time that any indian manufacturer has brought it out over here to the market now let's talk about a few technical details about this car so the tata curve will actually come in two battery packs the first one will be a 45 kilowatt hour battery pack and the bigger one would be a 55 kilowatt hour battery pack the 55 kilowatt hour battery pack will promise you a range of about 580 kilometers which is again again as per tata's test conditions realistically in the real world what tata says is that this car will give you the 55 kilowatt hour battery pack will give you 100% a range of real world range of more than 420 kilometers that is what they are claiming that it will give no matter how you drive this car another good part about the battery is that this battery pack can actually charge from chargers which are 70 kilowatt hour and above which means that you can get the battery from 10% to 80 percent in just 40 minutes or you can get 150 kilometers of range by charging the car on a fast charger for just 10 minutes which is actually really good for those who want to take this car on a long distance journey where you are going above 400 kilometers for example if it's my case if i want to do pune to goa that's about 450 kilometers which means this car will be able to do 80 to 85 percent of the distance 
in one charge and I'll probably have to put it on charging for not more than 10 minutes and I will get straight to Goa. In terms of power, the motor produces 123 kilowatt of power which will get this car from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 8.6 seconds. Now Tata has not yet revealed more details like how much of the weight this car is holding but I am guessing since it's a big 55 kilowatt or a 45 kilowatt hour battery pack, it's actually going to be quite a hefty amount. Okay, let's have a look at the other things about this car. Again, a lot of gloss on the outside. This lip at the back is gloss. The rear bumper is gloss. Side wheel arches are gloss. The side panel is gloss. Ton of gloss parts on this car. So, quickly showing you the boot. So, this car actually has quite a decent size boot. In fact, it's quite a big boot where the curb will offer you 500 liters of storage capacity and that can be increased even more because it's got a split 60-40 folding seat at the back where if you drop this down you'll get more and in total it gets about 980 liters of boot space. Also it has a power tailgate which is really good and very handy and also it's got one of these when you have to open it right now it's not working because there's somebody who's there are a lot of people who are messing around with the car so that's currently not functional but it also has one of those swipey things where you swipe over here and you open the boot. By the way, these two are the curved EVs and over there we have the two ice engine cars. Now these are going to be launching a lot later. This is going to be in September when the prices are going to be announced on the 2nd of September where you will have two petrol engines and one diesel engine which is going to be mated to a manual gearbox. And and it will also come with an optional 7-speed dual clutch transmission. Let's see if we can quickly get inside the car and give you guys a look. So, again, on the inside, the curve has pretty much the same wheel that comes with the rest of the new Tata cars, where the center part is a light LED light for which glows the Tata logo. It's got touch controls over here it's got a nice dual tone finish on the inside where you have this white and it's matching and it's blended with this dark color then on the center you've got a full piano black gloss finish center console and a very nice chunky gear selector then you have your drive modes over here and you have what looks like a wireless charging mat over here this is a small but kind of perfectly placed center armrest under which you have a small but kind of a deep storing space as well. Now one more thing to notice about this car is that both the front seats in the curve in the top end variant are going to be ventilated which is really really good for Indian climate conditions. Okay let's have a look at the glove box. Nice and wide and very very deep in fact and it also has another tray over here on top to keep documents and other things really nice i really really like these seats they look very nice and perforated with these three different materials there's a little bit of cloth over here there's i believe faux leather and a different color over here to make it look like a dual tone finish as well uh quickly gonna hop over quickly gonna hop inside it's quite a big step over in and the seats actually feel quite comfortable they are quite nicely reclined at the back as well but the headroom also is pretty decent i wouldn't say the headroom is a lot i am 5 7 and i am about a few inches away from the top of the roof so if you're six feet and above you're definitely going to scrape your head over there all right again lot of gloss everywhere on the inside on the outside lot of gloss Now the really good part about the curve is that this car is going to be launched at a very very insane price which is 17.49 lakh rupees for the EV which is actually a really really good price when you consider the Nexon, when you consider the other electric vehicles this is actually a really good introductory price but again this is an introductory price because later that is going to be costing 21 lakh rupees where it starts. So that is the new Tata curve. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see you in the next one. Till then.